Well, good morning, folks. Hey, we're back on Lake Murray today. We had a great time out here yesterday catching white perch on the gulp of lives. I'm going to try to something, do something different here this morning. Uh, we're going to try a single power bait, something new from Berkeley. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's called a power switch. Power switch. You see it. We're going to give that a try with a little lead above it, a six-pound test on one single jig. Yesterday, we used our double jigs. And we're also going to try some uh, some crappy jigs instead of uh, um, um, go up alive, see if the, the scent really makes that much difference. If we can't catch them on it, then, you know, they, they might not bite it. They might not want it. Right off the bat, we're going to try this power bait. I've been itching to try this thing. I'm at 53 foot of water. Uh, we caught fish all out in here yesterday. I don't know where they're going to be at today. Uh, have no clue. But uh, right there, the whole school or something up high out in front of me. But there was gobs and gobs of little stripers and, and perch in here yesterday. We had a drum full. I caught so many fish, I was tired of cleaning. I'm not going to keep all them fish today. We're going to throw back a lot today. But anyhow, let's see what we can do. Uh, I got my little St. Croix rod out here that uh, broke three inches off. And we're going we're gonna to try this power bait. Just see if they'll bite it. They might not touch the thing. They love a gup alive, though. I can tell you that much. Or a gup out the bag. And I, and I will be putting them back on if they don't hit this. I'm not seeing a, a a bunch of fish feeding yet. We're going to tap the boat so we can stir something up. Right there comes a few rockfish. Right there's a whole school of rockfish out there. Right under me. See them right there? Let's see if I can straighten this up. See all them fish coming in? Them rockfish, probably. A whole school of them down there. Now, we're going to catch them, but we might have to go to the gup alive to do it. I don't know. And they might not be feeding yet, but they sure out there. I can tell you that much. Gonna ease over here and try to get a little shallower. Pull this thing over a little bit. We ain't quite where we caught them yesterday, but it's definitely fish here. We caught some super dog magnum white perch yesterday, and they must be staging full of eggs. I mean, full of eggs. They might not hit this power bait. I'm telling you, boy, these fish are funny. They wouldn't hit Charlie Brewers. I ain't had a bump on this thing yet. I done pulled through enough fish. I don't know. I'll reel it up and drop it down again see what happens. I've never done much with the power bait, although it's a Berkeley bait. And this is a new one. They probably ain't gonna touch it. I'm gonna tell you, it's hard to beat Gup. We gotta get them stirred up. There's plenty of little stripers out there. I see them showing up. When I beat the boat, they start swarming like a bunch of hungry dogs coming to eat. They is. Got one. Up. Oh, had a bite. Had a bite. Had a bite on the power bait. Let's see if they'll hit it again. He bumped it. Now, I just missed him. He had another bite. Well, they're hitting it, but they ain't taking it. That ain't a good sign. Let's see. That ain't hitting it. Mm. It's supposed to have sin on it, but it might not be. There he is. Got him. We got him. They will bite it. Oh, my. Power bait. Power bait. First fish of the day. Let's see what he is. I think he's probably a perch. Super dog. Magnum perch. And you see it. That's a pretty little bait now. Look at that thing. Ain't that pretty? Well, we got one on it. We ain't got the double rig now. We got one rig with two leads on it to get it down. Drop back there. See, we catch another one. What y'all say? We're only going to keep the jumbos. Anything little, I'm, I'm throwing back today. 
We don't have loony over here to eat them, so late murder, the loons don't bother you. Well, the first one bit, that's all I can say. Oh, had another bite. Missed him. Doggone reel flip back over. I believe they're going to hit this thing. I don't know. I don't see a bunch of them down there, though. There's some stirring up off the bottom right in front of me. We got to pull it over in front of me. She's following it up, but he ain't taking it. Boy, it's hard to beat that gut. I'm telling you right now. And he ain't touching it. Ain't that something? Caught one. It looks to me like they ought to kill it, but I've never done much with these baits that's got the, the plastic wrapped around the head. So I'm experimenting is what I'm doing. They don't seem to want it neither. We caught one, now we can't get a bite. Ain't that something? And I know that there's enough of them there to catch them. I tell you, they bump it. They bumping it, but they ain't taking it. Well, they'll grab that doggone gut bait. They just hitting it, this thing. I got to figure out how to work it. Do they want it jumping, bumping like bumping the bottom? Or do they want it dragging, you know? So we got to figure it out. They might not take it either way. Or they sure ain't want it. Let's tap the boat, see if we can stir something up. They ain't taking it. I'm not seeing a lot of fish, though. They're scattered. They ain't in here like they were yesterday yet. Hopefully they'll start. There you go. Got a nut. Got a nut. They will bite it. Hey, and it might catch the bigger ones. I don't know. <clears throat> Keep pulling. That's a good one. Oh, that's a striper. So a striper bite it, too, see? Old striper. Old striper bite it. Calm down, boy. One thing about that thing, if you don't break off, it'll probably last forever. That's <clears throat> what I'm thinking. You wanted to buy it many. If it breaks off now, that's another story. We got it on six pound test right there. It's really light. <clears throat> I'm preferably like two jigs is what I like. I got fish following it down. So by the time he gets to the bottom, one ought to take it. They looking at it going down. It's a pile up on the bottom under it. See if we can get one up. Them stripers are up in the perch are probably one down. Huh? Hey, oh Lord. That doggone line's flipping over, messing me up. Hey, you got him. Got him. Oh, boy. Got him. That's a nice one. Oh, my. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. That is a nice one. That's a big old perch. Look at that one magnum on that thing. Huh? Look at that one, a magnum on that thing. Y'all see it good. Gosh, look at the stuff coming out there. Look at that fish. That is a super dog magnum. Hey, you don't have to worry about the thing pulling down or nothing. Now, I kind of like that. Thing looks pretty in the water, I can tell you that much. And there again, it's the Power Bait by Berkeley, and it's called Power Switch. Pro designed by John Howard. This is the HD White Wizard, is what it's called. Huh. Hey, might be done come up with something else. Mario found this and gave me one, a, a couple packs. 
We got two different colors. I only got one color on, but that thing probably worked with two at a time on there too. I just didn't, I didn't want to rig a rod up with two on. So I just got it by itself with a couple of leads above to get it down. But they will bite it. We see that. We're not caught two perch. Not that I probably couldn't have been catching them a little faster, maybe, with the uh, Berkeley uh, gulp. They is, but they're biting it. they tapping it. It might weed out the little ones. This is a pretty big bait. Yeah, they thumping it. That's a bad sign when they thump it and they don't get it. I didn't have, I didn't see any smell to it. I mean, it might have scent in it, but I don't know. I ain't too sure about the scent part of it. I just got to learn how to use it. All I do is kind of pull the uh, gut along. This here might be a little different. I might swim this thing. Let's see. Let's see if they hit it swimming. Nope. Yep, they did. They did too. Want it swimming. You see how you got to change things? That's a little fish, stuff. I think. Yeah. A little striper. Them stripers like it swimming by them. They'll take that thing. Huh? They'll take it. All right. Let's throw it back out. Hey. Catching some. Catching enough, I don't want a whole drum full today. I can tell you that right now. He's already hit it. Already hit at it. Hey, looking at it. There he is. Come up and got it. Oh, my. They killing it. That ain't a big one, but hey, they killing it. That's a medium size. We're gonna throw him back. Are they hitting it? Throw it back out I'm not seeing a lot of fish today. Yesterday they were everywhere. Get this camera going. I didn't have it going. I thought I had it going. On the fish finder right now, I don't see nothing much. I don't see nothing, to be honest with you. You know, it's funny. You can be on fish one day, the next day they be gone. But it's still some gulls diving around here. I still think the fish are here. We just got to get on them. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. That's a good one. Huh? That's a good one. Oh, my. That's a good one. We had two fine catfish yesterday and a big old bass. I released that bass. Look at that. Now that's the keeper. Look at the shad out of his mouth, would you? Look at that big old shad coming out of his mouth. Huh? Yes, sir. Pull it back out. Catch a nut. I also want to try that uh, gut. Uh, uh, shrimp again. They like that thing sometimes. But if they keep biting this right here, we'll just do a video on, th on this G. We ain't got on the mother load yet. There's a few scattered around here, but they ain't, we ain't on the mother load by no means.
Yeah, boy, he thumped it. Hey, day he thumped it. That joke a bit like a bass. It might be a bass. That might be a bass, folks. I believe we got a bass. We got us another bass, and I ain't got the net ready. That's a bass. That's what it is. Yeah, it's a bass. He dumped it like a bass, too. Definitely a bass. Oh, my. Definitely a bass. Come in here with my power bait, boy. You can't have that bait. Oh, that's a good one. Huh? He thumped it like a bass. It is a bass. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Look at no striper. It ain't no bass. It's a good striper. Still ain't, ain't right size, I don't think. I have to check it. But uh, it's a striper. Old striper hit that thing, that boy. He thumped it. He thought he had the real McCoy. He thought he had the real McCoy. What? What I like about this bait is you ain't got to worry about tearing it up. It's like a regular bait. Look at that. Huh? Beautiful striper. What? Let's let him go. He's on the size. He's about 18 inches. He's about 18 inches. Hey, let's throw it out and catch another one. Doggone, one of my leads is gone. How'd that happen? I'll leave that. It might be heavy enough for just one lead. We'll try that. One of my legs is going to have two on it. Might give it more action with just one. If he gets down fast enough, hey, it'll, it'll work. I just raised my rod tip and went to lower it down. He thundered, but he hit it just like a largemouth. I knew it was a bigger fish because you feel that thump. It ain't nothing like that thump. When you go to let down, thump, you, hey, ain't nothing like it. He looked at it, but he didn't take it. This is probably one of them plugs we had to go at a 45 with it, like the, like the old circle swing thing I used to do so much of. Like most of the fish, the gulls are over young. I'm thinking we might not be at the right spot today. They just scattered what it is. See you. Got him. He sucked it down. He sucked it down. Oh my, he sucked it down. Oh my. Look at him going. That joke is pulling, ain't it? Nice perch. Look at that. Huh? Nice perch. I love this little plug. What I love about it is you ain't got to keep adding to it. It's there. It's like a real plug. But it ain't. It's uh plastic wrapped around. It's tough. Catch a lot of fish off one of these. A lot of fish. Power Pro Berkeley. Power Switch. High HD White Wizard. Pro Design by John Hoyer. All right. Put, put old Power Pro down. I've got another color. I thought that that was more of a natural color. This water ain't really dirty. Are they hitting it? I say that for it. I don't know if they're hitting it as good as they would be hitting that um, gup or not, but they hitting it. We ain't got a lot of fish under there. You get on the fish right, them gulls are hanging more out in that deeper water right there. That's where the fish are. I need to move over. I need to move over. There he goes. Got him. Got him. Oh my, got him. Got him. Look at that, that's a good one. Probably a striper. Don't know that. 
<laughs> don't know that. No, it ain't either. It's a super dog slab white perch. And look at the look at it. What's in his mouth? Big old shad. About the same size, maybe a little bit bigger than what I'm fishing with here. Huh? Get it back out. To the bottom with a big girl's lie. Let's put that lid up a little bit. We need that other lid on it to get it down quicker. Yep, we need to put another lid on That's what we need to do. All right, let's try that again. Get it down. Let's go down now. I promise you. See how they have moved over here now? Them fishes, they're moving all out in here. That's what they're doing. We're going to lay it to them again. We, I could be fishing with that gup alive, probably catching two at a time, but I, I'm a, I don't need all these fish, so we're going we're gonna to fish one at a time for a little bit. We got them all up on us. They ought to kill it when it gets down, I'll tell you. He bumped it. It's funny they ain't hitting it on the fall. I would have thought they'd hit this plug on the fall. Hey, oh boy, he run up there and popped it. There he goes and hit it again. They ain't taking it as good as they do that gup now. I'm there he is. Boy, he nailed it. Boy, he nailed it. That stuck a, he sucked it. That's a good fish. Probably a striper. Whatever he is, he's nice, and I can tell you that much. Perch. I believe that's perch. Nah, striper. He's a doggone striper. They killing that thing now. They killing it. Huh? They killing it. Drop it to the bottom with a big girl's fly. You can see six foot deep dropping this thing a more. It's clear water. That's why they're deeper. The deeper, the cloudier the water, the shallower the fish. The dingier the water, the shallower the fish. The clearer the water, the deeper the fish. Y'all remember that? If we be in dingy water, we'd probably be doing the same thing in 20 foot of water. But it's, it's clear and they deeper. They deeper. One bumped it right down. I've noticed they don't hit it as good rising as they do Charlie Brewers and stuff like that because they don't have a swim tail. I got uh, some crappy jigs that were sent to me. I'm going to give them a try, see if they'll hit them in a minute. I got it on a double rig over here behind me. I'm thinking I was catching them a lot quicker with the gup alive. There you missed him. They ain't hitting as quite as good as they do that gup. Of course, that was yesterday, too. I see the perch swarming around, but they ain't hitting it. They, they looking at it more than they're hitting it. There you come up to get it. He come up to get it. Look at him going. That's a good one. Uh-oh. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. These are good ones. Must be a striper. Take a line. You take a line. He's taking a line. That's got to be a striper. That ain't no perch. It's a striper or a bass. And it ain't likely to be no bass. He's going out running like a striper. I'm going to put it on spotlight right here while I'm getting this fish in. He could be a bass, though. If he's big enough. Whatever it is, probably four or five pounds. I'm guessing I don't know. What is he? It's a doggone largemouth. And I'm in a good one. I ain't got the big net up here. Let's see if we can get him in here. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Look what we just caught. <laughs> Another largemouth bass on this thing. Huh? Look at that. Look how white he is. That is a good one. That's the kind you read about. Where? In Bass Magazine. 
He swallowed it, bud. If you don't think he wanted it. I knew it was a good fish. I thought it was a striper. I mean, he took it down to his guzzle. Let me tell you. Ow. Here it is. Look at that. Huh? Three and a half pounds. We'll put him in this water right here for now. Three and a half pounds. Me and Logan might eat that one. Logan, I love bass. I'll tell you that right now. Got blood all in my boat. See, he's bleeding. Probably won't make it if I throw him back. He sucked it down at his gills. You get one like that, he might come to. I put that other one in the live well yesterday. He stayed in there all day. I throwed him back at the end of the day. That was a good fish, though. That was almost a six pounder. But that right there wasn't no baby. Caught him. I should have checked my line. I got a six pound test and that, and he had it sucked now, so he was sawing that line. Watch the next one break off and lose my jig. And things don't come but three in a pack. I think it was three. <clears throat> yep, three in a pack. Old bass out here with these doggone fish. Yeah, something. Now he run up asked it. I went to lift it up and he took it. He didn't hit it on the fall, he hit it on the rise. So we might need to just parallel pull this thing up real slow. Swim it to catch them. There you got another. Seems like they're coming off the bottom when it gets up a little bit away from them and taking it. They ain't hitting it down there where they at. They hitting it when they when it goes to get up on up higher. They don't want it to get away and they run up and get it. Is what they're doing. That's what they're doing. That's a big old perch right there. Huh? Look at that what a perch. That my friend is a pound and a half white perch right there on that on that. Joker. Huh? I love this thing because I ain't got to keep replacing it. Man, you got to love that. I'm going to have to go get me some more of these. I'm going to start fishing with some of these. Crazy names, though. I don't understand the names. Power Switch. HD White Wizard. This is called a wizard. Power Bait Wizard. A crazy name. Wizard? It might be the wizard. I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to stick with it for right now. Because they seem to be hitting it. Look at it. Woo, he hit it way up high. I got it all around fish. You know, we always coming up with something different. Look at that. Already had him. Ted, blame it, I missed him. Bumping it. We got him down there, buddy. Let me tell you. They really ain't hitting it. As many I see down there ought to be catching one every time I move it. But, but they are hitting oh, I missed him. They are hitting it some. So they will hit it. No doubt. You got to work it a little bit. They bumping it, but they ain't taking it. I mean, they running after it. They ain't really hitting it. They really don't want it. They missed him. Boy, he knocked the devil out of it, and I missed him. They hit him, but they ain't taking it now, y'all. And this perch, I can guarantee you that gut metal they'd take right now. And let's see if we can get one to bite it like that. Might not. Uh, they just quit biting. They were hitting it. And then they quit. And got used to it. And won't hit it now. They don't want it now. Amazing that. We caught a couple nice fish off of it. That bass was nice. 
they, they ain't all in all them perch ain't hitting that good I don't even see them now they're running out there not taking it let's put uh, them crappy jigs out there before we go to the guppa line Let's drop this green and pink crappy jig out there and see what happens. See if they'll take it. They might not touch that. Well, I know I got it in them. Let's see if they'll bite it. The line's a little bit bigger on this rod. Well, so far, no good. They're running up to it and looking at it, but they ain't taking it. Well, I'll tell you, it's going to be hard to beat that gump alive. They ain't touching this crappy jig. I mean, they ain't touching it. We're going to have to break down and get back to the gump. They don't want them crappy jig. crazy colors alright that's enough for me that's what I do to experiment oh we got one hit it <laughs> one hit it right when I said that's enough for me and he's a good one too what I don't want that is whatever it is gone with it let me tell you huh hey day oh he got off I believe that was a bass yo now I got to throw it back out there don't I, I don't want to have him on the green one or the or the, or the pink one. Dad, blame me, God. I'm going to throw it back one more time. That was a bass. That was another bass. That wasn't no perch. We ain't got a lot of wind today. Yesterday I had a little bit more wind. Now we going to catch the fish. We just got to get the best thing on to catch them. We caught a couple on that on that jig, and then they quit. Now they ain't even looking at this thing. It's going to be fun to see if they going to hit that gup alive when I put it back on the... They ain't wanting this. Hey, they bump it. Ever, ever saw us want to bump it. Hey, you got nothing? Let's see what he hit. I like to catch one on that rig. That's a nice fish, too. That's a good one. Ah, he got the pink. He hit the pink, y'all. He hit the pink. Drop it back down again. I'm seeing some scattered perch, and that's it. They don't want it, though. They're looking at it. They, they'll, they'll take it ever so often, but they really don't want it. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. There he goes. Hit that paint. They like that paint color. They ain't touching that green. I'll tell you what let's do. Let's put, let's take that green off and put a gup alive on there. They ain't taking, they don't want the green. Do not want the green.
Got one left in that pack. All I done is I trimmed a, we got big old heads on here today, and I trimmed the collar off for the gut bunner. Come a boat. Hi, throw it back out. To the bottom where the big girls lie. See if we can get them nothing. See if they'll take that gup alive over that pink. Bet you they will. Bit money on that. I ain't seeing a lot of them down there right now. Yeah. So far, it ain't, ain't nothing rousing up. There's one. There's one. I seen him run up there to it before we hit it. Let's see what he's on. Let's see if he's on the paint or the gut. That's a right nice perch. He's on the rock, it's rock fish. He's on the pink. All right, they hit that joker. Y'all see him? Throw it back down. That gulls is kind of tapering down here. Don't see them like a deer. The fish ain't as a whole biting as good today as they did yesterday. I mean, they might pick up. I don't know. Coming up to hit it. He hit it. I think he, I think he come by the gup to hit that paint. Yeah. What I believe he did. That's what I believe he did. See how I analyzed that? I put two different jigs on. They wouldn't hit the green to hit the pink. And now we catching them on the pink. They want the pink. The pink, yeah. But we ain't catching up the stripers. They hit the gup alive. Now ain't that something? That's the gup out the bag, too. That's the regular gup. The one they use a light. Hitting paint. Ooh, I missed him. Are you looking at it? Hey, miss him again. They all on it. They really ain't eating it up. They there, but they ain't eating it up. All right, put that darn orange cup shrimp on the they ain't bite as good as they did yesterday. No, we're close. Yesterday, I was hammering them. Go back to that power bait. Slow today. I ain't believe it. They ain't hit this gut today. They killed it yesterday. He absolutely killed his gut bait yesterday. But they ain't killing it today. Mm -mm. I can tell you that much. What I've caught, I've caught on this paint, uh, on this rig. I'm really surprised at that. Let's go back to that power bait. 
We got a nice bass on that and a couple stripers. Let's see if they'll bite either. Nah. We got it on a lighter tackle. I ain't seeing much. Let's throw out to see if we can catch one. I think they're laying flat on the bottom. And perch. They ain't doing it now. And we own some fish, a few fish out there too. Drop down in on the bottom, see if we can wake them up. They fish in there, they just ain't biting. They just finally got nothing to bite. Now we finally got another fish. Finally. That took a while. Probably got a striper. No, it's a big old perch. Look at that. Big old perch. He didn't want it though. Caught him in the corner of the mouth. Throw it back out. Here. One is jerking up and down, like bumping the bottom of what they want. Good on that. That's a good fish. That is a big old perch right there, folks. Look at that. Look at that. You know how big Right back down to the bottom. Where the big girls lie. Come up and got it. They like it jerking in front of them, is what they like. That's a good fish right there. Oh my, that's a good fish right there. They like yo yoing it in front of them. That's a good perch right there, folks. That is a whopper. That is a monster perch. That's the kind you read about in Perch Magazine right there. Look at that crawfish come out of him. See what he's biting? Crawfish. That's why that gup alive will be, be good. He spit up a darn crawfish. Look at that. He sure did. He spit up a crawfish. That's what they eat. I bet you that dog gonna go up. Shrimp will they'll eat it up. Cause it looks just like a crawfish. They like it bumping the bottom like they like this thing yo-yoing it on the bottom. That's what they want. Yo yo went on the bottom. That's a good one, too. Big old perch. Look at that one perch. Yo yo and power bait on the bottom is what they want. Y'all see it? Get it back out there. Hey, this power bait don't tear up. That's what I like about it. it don't tear up. You got to love it when it don't tear up. Uh... 
Are you here? Got him. Got him. You got him. Good one. I mean a real good one. Hey, this power bait's eliminating the little ones. That's what it's doing. Catching good ones. That's what we're doing. Caught him in the bottom of the lip, though. They are tearing it up though, it's ripping the hook out. I got minnows. I ain't want to fish like that. They just ain't biting. Let's put that gut shrimp on there. <clears throat> they ain't biting this. Just ain't doing it. I don't want it. They might not bite this either. I don't know. That one with that big old crawfish in him ought to bite it because it's the same color as a crawfish. If they bite this. Hit it. There's one hit it. Finally got another bite. They put it on spot lock. That's a pretty nice one too. That is a pretty nice one. That's a big one on that darn gup shrimp. He hit that gup shrimp. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Big one. A big and hit that shrimp. Thought it was a doggone. I tell you, we're gonna take this uh, this jig off the top here, and we're gonna put us a a gup alive on there. That's pink. I don't want no more. Of. Put us a gup alive on that. get them going again in a minute I do believe just a matter of getting the right place and stirring them up hey there we get them bite it there you they like it on the bottom like a crawfish is what they like look at that that's a nice one too big ones hit that thing what he hit? Look at that. Like a crawfish. Gup shrimp look like a darn crawfish to him. It's showing no shrimp in this lake. Huh? And one of them spit up a darn herring out there. Might have been that bass. That bass done spit up that herring. Yeah, we have a few right here. Right here's where we caught them yesterday. Right here. The point. It's a point that runs out here and drops off in the deep water. And they holding out here in the 40s. Everything, bass, stripers, everything coming through. Perch, catfish. We ain't caught a catfish yet this morning. A matter of time. And what it is. All right, get that thing, hop that thing across the bottom, want to take it. Hey, 
Yeah. Uh oh, missed him. I had him. He hit it. Hit it again. Hit it again. Dad, blame it. Hit it again. Got him that time. Huh? Got him that time. Oh my. Got him that time. That boat left. I can get excited again. I don't like fishing around people. That's another big one. Unless it's a striper. If that's a perch, that's a monster. And it is a perch. And he's on that crawfish. Look where he's spitting up. Big old herring. Hey, day. Look at that. Huh? Jumbo Super Dog Magnum on a darn shrimp. They ain't hitting that gup alive. They hitting shrimp. Gup shrimp. Look at that. Huh? Got to love it. Old fish trying to come up something else. Because I've caught them on these shrimps before. When I seen that crawfish come out of that belly, that's a darn hair and they hitting here. That's hair. Look at that. Now, if I stuck that out there, I'd probably catch me a catfish on a hook. See if we can get a nut. Let's see. We can get a nut. Loving life with the old fisherman. There he is. Ooh, we had him. They're killing that shrimp. Big ones, too. Got to be a big and hit that shrimp. We got to get down to the bottom and catch them. Here's the bottom. There he is. Got him. Got him. Oh my. Got him. Another good one. Another good one. Another good one. Got him on the gulf alive. Look at this. No wonder they ain't wanting to hit. They full. They're going to shaft's coming out their mouth. You can't eat so much. All right, let's get back down there, Mr. Shrimp. Let's get back down there, Mr. Shrimp. Stir them up. Stir the pot. There's some kind of hump there on the bottom. I don't know what it is, like a rock. And they're laying next to it. And... Uh, let that thing lay on the bottom a little bit. Kind of twitch it up when I nail it. He is, he's on it. Got him. Got him. Oh my. Got him. Another big one. Another big one. Oh my. Another big one. On a shrimp too, buddy. A shrimp. Look at that. Huh? Nice and Nice. Might put a shrimp on the top one. They ain't hit the gup alive, they hit the shrimp. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. <sighs> Beautiful for a pit to fish. Got him on the gup alive. Look at that. Big one. Big ones. Good old big ones. You don't see them until it gets almost down there, they'll come off the bottom. See a couple up high, them striping. Some kind of hump there. Only something on the bottom. And they'll run that hump. They're looking at it. They just ain't taking it. They just don't want it. They got cold now. We got to get our hat. I'm freezing to death. Get up here. Get my hat back out here. Look at this cold. 
wind blowing. Mm -mm -mm. Dang. Much better. They just quit biting again. Catch a couple and they quit. There you go. And we got one. Finally got a nut. Finally got a nut. Nice one too. Them stripers. Them what they are. Stripers. The old stripers. Down there, they sure ain't hit. Yesterday, they was killing it. Today, they just don't want it. There you go. There you go. Ain't catching a couple. Got to love a couple. Got to love a couple. That might be another striper. It's either a striper or a big perch, one of the two. Big old perch. Look at that. Huh? Big old perch. I tell you, hook's ripping out of this thing. Come up and got it. They want it twitching up high and they'll come up and get it. That's what they want. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That's a big old perch right there. That, my friend, is a big old perch. Nice. See, I caught him in the belly. He didn't even take it. He don't want that thing. Look at that. Caught him in the belly. Believe that. In the belly. There he is. Finally got him. Finally got him. Oh yeah. Finally got him. Finally got him. Nice enough. Big old perk. Oh, striper. Them little stripers in there. What they are. Calm down, boy. Calm down. Back out trying to put a big curl like. There he is. Got it. Work that jug on the bottom like a bumpy spoon and catch him. Sure can. You can catch him. Look at that. Big old perch. Big old perch. I caught a good many on that jig and it's still working. Hey, yeah. Took the shrimp. Took the shrimp. That's why you got to keep mixing and matching with these fish. No, he didn't. He got the gulp alive and butted out some bigger. Huh? That there's the kind you read about in Perch Magazine. Slab boosters.
Here's gun gun. Got him gun. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh my, that's a good one. That is a slab. If it's a stripe, if it's a perch, it might be a striper. No, it ain't. It's a perch and it's a big one. Hey, Dave. Look at the size of that perch, folks. Super Dog Slam Magnum to Lake Murray. What? Got nothing? Hey, it's starting to bite now. And we starting to catch them. Oh my. We starting to catch them. Another big one. Another big one. Oh my, another big one. Got him on shrimp. Look at that big old fish. Magnum perch on a gup shrimp. They think it's a crawfish. That's what they think it is. I'm telling you. I mean, I don't know for a fact, but that's what I believe. Don't want that. We got to do something else. I think the minnow come right off. I think the minnows are getting off that hook before he gets to the bottom. That's what I think. No, it's still there. They just don't want it. They ain't no need to even use it. They don't want that. They don't want that. We got something on this sitting there over the edge. Hey, they catfish. Lord have mercy, I didn't even know it was out. Sick darn catfish. What it is. I didn't know I'd left it out, to be honest with you, folks. I thought I had it up. We got a catfish. I can tell you that. We got another catfish. I'll be doggone. Hmm? I better get back and get out of the net. But I do not think that doesn't hear going in that little net. Hey, day. Mm. Now we got to get the other net out. I can tell you that much. Old catfish sitting there eating that thing. <laughs> he had him eating that shrimp sitting there on the bottom. <laughs> All I know, I didn't even think I had it down. But I must have. He took it. That's a cat, no doubt. Make a stew out of him. We had some cats yesterday. Come here, boy. Come in here to the old fisherman. Another one of them darn big old channel cats. Look at that. I mean, he gone. He gone. Big old channel. Yeah. Hey, they water through one of them darn herring out there we got. I got him snag hooked. He didn't even bite it. Snag hooked. Hey, they. Lord have mercy. Unless he eat the shrimp. I don't know. Look at that. Eight pound catfish. Snag hooked. What he is? <laughs> Boy, what are you doing down there playing around with my jigs? I don't see no lint, no nothing in your mouth. I don't. I don't know. Look at that. Dad gum you I snag hooked him now. Both of them had him snag hooked. Nothing in the mouth. Now ain't that something? Y'all see it? Look at that. Huh? Put him in the drawer. Now there's a walker.